Hi, Janelle Schaefer Artists here, and you can find me on Facebook at Janelle Schaefer Artists, and that's J E N E L Schaefer S C H A F F E R, and then Artist. And please like my page, and you can find all kinds of pictures and other samples of classes and a link to my website. So today we're going to do a homeschool art class. And this is painting a watercolor wax resist fruit bowl. And this is a sample of, of what we're doing. These are the supplies you need. You need a box of crayons or a small box. This is a large box. <laughs> but lots of crayons. You need some watercolors. This is a watercolor tray with um, dried watercolors. You have to add water. And you need some brushes and some water, and you probably should have paper towels. I don't have any out. Um, I like to use art journals that have a, like a, a ring binder, and they have um, thicker paper that you can use for watercolor projects. You just can't use something that's thin like watercolor, or not water, computer paper, because it won't hold the water. And just another note on this, I like using journals because if your kids are doing art often, you can save their art in a journal. It's easy to save and store and display, put on a bookshelf versus hundreds and hundreds of papers that are just randomly scattered about. So here we go. We're going to do this project. So step one, and I'm holding my camera, so I'll do the best I can to be still. We're going to draw the bowl. Okay, simple drawing, and you're going to go back over the bowl. I'm using purple. You can choose any color you want. And I'm making the outline dark. Because we're doing wax resist, you have to press kind of hard with the wax crayons. So now I'm going to just shade in part of my bowl. Not all of it, because wherever there is white, that will absorb the paint. So I'm going to make a little bit of a back part of my bowl, and I'm going to add some like pink over here. And a little bit more color in the middle. All right, there is my bowl. And now I'm going to do a table. So if you start over on the side, just do a line and then continue it and draw an angled line down. Put a shadow under your bowl. And then you can just kind of shade in parts of the table. I'm going to take a lighter brown and add some of that. And it sort of seems like I'm scribbling. I'm not coloring too, too carefully. It will look really nice once the paint has been applied. Okay, so, so far, don't want to put my feet in there. Um, so far, table and bowl. Now I'm going to do the apple. So it's sort of just like a heart shape. I'm going to color in part of my apple and I'm going to make a stem and a little leaf and then I'm going to do a banana on this side at least part of the banana I'm going to color in a fair amount of it pressing pretty hard with my crayon Behind the banana, I'm going to do a set of grapes here. So I'm going to do a row of circles. And then each row has a little bit fewer circles. And then I'm going to color in between my circles. Kind of filling that space in.
and then I'm going to shade my grapes a little bit. I'm using a little blue, a little green. I like using a lot of bright colors. You can encourage your kids to use whatever colors they like. I do not force children to use certain colors. Let them choose. Okay, and then I have a space here and I'm gonna put a carrot because I have room for a carrot. I'm gonna shade in part of it. And then make a carrot top. And there is my drawing. Okay, and now I'm ready to paint. So I have my water over here and I'm going to get some purple paint and I am just painting right on top of this bowl, the whole thing going over top of all of the crayon. And if you're noticing, I have a larger brush. I would say to, for a child to use a, a slightly larger brush than a teeny tiny brush. You know, sometimes when you get those watercolor sets, they have those horrible little skinny brushes. You can buy bigger brushes, they're not that expensive. Now I'm going to um, paint the table and I'm gonna use like a burgundy. And again, I'm just going right on top of the crayon. And you can see the crayon just like kind of pop and I love that effect. It's really fun. That's why it's important to press hard with the crayon because you don't really get that effect if you haven't pressed hard enough. So now we have the bowl and the table. I'm gonna come up and I'm rinsing my brush almost every time and I'm gonna paint my apple and the stem. Now you might wanna use a teeny brush for like the stems, but um, I'm pretty good at using a large brush. So I'm gonna go with the carrot, painting the carrot orange, going around the grapes carefully, painting the carrot top. And then I'm going to do each of the grapes individually. Adding a bit of color to each grape. And you can see how everything is be becoming more and more defined. I'm going to add a stem. And painting my banana. And there you go, finished project, looks great. And last little thing you can have your kids do is initial and date it. And I have kids sign or initial their art because it gives them a sense of ownership and pride. And then I always date so that you can always look back and remember when you did this art and you can see your progression over time as you become a better artist. So thanks so much. Like this video and come back and see some more.